Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Miss Seaman, square-shaped, layered, pan-fried dough that can be stuffed with various fillings like cheese or meat. Miss Seaman is a popular Moroccan flatbread known for its flaky, layered texture. It's a versatile and delicious bread that's commonly enjoyed for breakfast, as a snack, or as part of meals. Here's a simple recipe for making misimen at home. Ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour. One cup fine semolina, or use additional flour. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon sugar. One teaspoon active dry yeast. One to one and one quarter cups. Warm water. Vegetable oil for shaping and frying. Butter, optional for folding layers. Instructions. In a large mixing bowl, Combine the all-purpose flour, semolina, salt, sugar, and yeast. Gradually add the warm water while kneading the mixture. The dough should come together and be soft and smooth. You may need slightly more or less water, so add it gradually until you achieve the right consistency. Once the dough is formed, divide it into several equal-sized balls around the size of a golf ball. Coat each ball with a little oil to prevent sticking. Take one ball of dough, flatten it slightly with your hand, and then stretch it out on an oiled surface into a thin rectangle or circle. The dough should be thin, but not too transparent. If desired, spread a thin layer of butter on the stretched out dough. Fold the dough into a square by bringing the corners towards the center creating layers. You can brush the top with more oil if needed to prevent sticking. Repeat the process with the remaining dough balls. Heat a non-stick pan or griddle over medium heat. Add a small amount of vegetable oil. Place the folded dough onto the hot pan and cook until both sides are golden brown and crispy, pressing lightly with a spatula while cooking to help it puff up. And become flaky. Once cooked, remove the messman from the pan and place it on a paper towel to remove excess oil. Serve the messman warm. It can be enjoyed plain with honey, jam, cheese, or any other preferred toppings. Machui, spit roasted lamb or goat cooked over charcoal, seasoned with traditional spices. Machui is a traditional Moroccan dish featuring slow-roasted lamb or goat cooked on a spit or over charcoal. The preparation involves marinating the meat with a variety of spices and then slowly roasting it until it becomes tender and flavorful. Here's a basic recipe to prepare makui. Ingredients. One whole lamb or goat, cleaned and prepared for roasting four. Six cloves of garlic, minced one tablespoon ground. Cumin, one tablespoon ground. Coriander, one tablespoon paprika. One tablespoon ground ginger. One tablespoon ground black pepper. One tablespoon salt. One two cup olive oil juice of two lemons. Chopped fresh parsley and cilantro, optional for garnish. Instructions. In a bowl, combine the minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, paprika, ginger, black pepper, salt, olive oil, and lemon juice to create the marinade. Make small incisions all over the lamb or goat to allow the marinade to penetrate the meat. Rub the marinade thoroughly onto the surface and inside the incisions of the meat, ensuring it's well coated. Allow the meat to marinate for at least a few hours or overnight in the refrigerator for the flavors to infuse. Preheat your grill, charcoal barbecue, or oven to a medium-high temperature. If using a spit, secure the marinated meat onto the spit and cook it slowly over the heat source, rotating occasionally until it's cooked through and the exterior is crispy and browned. Baste the meat occasionally with any leftover marinade or olive oil to keep it moist. 
if using an oven, preheat it to around 325-350 degree F, 165-175 degree C. Place the marinated meat in a roasting pan and cook it in the oven, basting occasionally and turning it to ensure even cooking until it's well done and reaches the desired level of tenderness. Once cooked, remove the meat from the heat and let it rest for a few minutes before carving it. Serve the machui garnished with chopped fresh parsley and cilantro if desired. It pairs well with Moroccan bread, salads, or other traditional side dishes, brochettes, skewers of grilled meat, typically chicken, lamb, or beef, seasoned with Moroccan spices. Brochettes, known in Moroccan cuisine as kebabs, are skewers of grilled meat, typically seasoned with various spices and herbs. These delicious skewers are a common street food and a popular dish in Morocco. Here's a basic recipe for making Moroccan-style brochettes. Ingredients. 1 to 1.5 pounds, 450-680 g, of boneless meat, beef, lamb, or chicken. Cut into cubes, one onion, finely chopped two, three cloves of garlic, minced one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon ground, cumin, one teaspoon ground, coriander, one two teaspoon ground, ginger one two teaspoon turmeric powder, salt and pepper to taste olive oil, wooden skewers, soaked in water for at least 30 minutes to prevent burning. Instructions. In a mixing bowl, combine the chopped onion, minced garlic, paprika, cumin, coriander, ginger, turmeric, salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil to create the marinade. Add the cubed meat to the marinade, ensuring each piece is well coated. Cover the bowl and let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least one, two hours, allowing the flavors to infuse into the meat. Preheat your grill or barbecue to medium-high heat. Thread the marinated meat onto the soaked wooden skewers, evenly distributing the pieces and leaving a little space between them. Brush the grill grates lightly with olive oil to prevent sticking. Place the skewers on the grill and cook, turning occasionally until the meat is fully cooked and nicely charred on the outside. Cooking times may vary depending on the type of meat used and its thickness. Once cooked, remove the brochettes from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the brochettes hot with a side of Moroccan bread, couscous, or salad. Svenge, Moroccan donuts, deep fried and dusted with sugar, sometimes flavored with orange blossom water. Svenge, also spelled sphinge, are delicious Moroccan donuts or fritters that are deep fried until they're golden brown and crispy on the outside, while remaining soft and airy inside. They're a popular street food and a delightful sweet treat. Here's a simple recipe to make svenge at home. Ingredients. Three cups, all-purpose flour, one tablespoon active dry yeast, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon salt, two cups lukewarm water, vegetable oil for frying, powdered sugar for dusting optional. Instructions. In a large mixing bowl, combine the lukewarm water, sugar, and yeast. Let it sit for about five, 10 minutes until the yeast activates and becomes foamy. Add the flour and salt to the yeast mixture. Mix well until you have a smooth, sticky dough. The dough should be soft and slightly sticky, but manageable. If needed, add a little more water or flour to achieve the right consistency. Cover the bowl with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and let the dough rest in a warm place for about one, two hours, allowing it to rise and double in size. Heat vegetable oil in a deep pot or frying pan over medium heat. The oil should be about two, three inches deep. 
Once the dough has risen, uncover it and stir the dough to deflate it. Using wet hands or a spoon, pinch off a piece of dough and shape it into a ring or flatten it slightly to form a donut-like shape with a hole in the center. Carefully place the shaped dough into the hot oil. Fry the sphinge in batches, ensuring not to overcrowd the pan. Cook each side until they turn golden brown, flipping them occasionally to ensure even cooking. Once the sphinge are golden and cooked through, remove them from the oil using a slotted spoon and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain excess oil. Optionally, dust the sphinge with powdered sugar while they're still warm. Serve the sphinge warm. They are best enjoyed fresh and can be eaten on their own or accompanied by tea or coffee. Cobs, Moroccan bread, usually round and served with many meat. Cobs, also known as kubs or cobs dar, is the staple bread in Morocco, a round, flat bread that is commonly eaten with meals and used to scoop up stews, tagines, and other dishes. Here's a simple recipe to make Moroccan cobs at home. Ingredients. Four cups all-purpose flour, plus extra for dusting. One teaspoon salt, one tablespoon sugar. One tablespoon active dry yeast. About one and a half cups warm water. Olive oil instructions. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, salt, sugar, and yeast. Gradually add warm water while mixing the ingredients with a wooden spoon or your hands to form a dough. Knead the dough for about 10, 15 minutes on a lightly floured surface until it becomes smooth and elastic. Add more flour or water, if needed, to achieve the right consistency. Shape the dough into a ball and place it in a lightly oiled bowl. Cover the bowl with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and let the dough rise in a warm place for about one, two hours, or until it doubles in size. Preheat your oven to 450 degree F, 230 degree C. If you have a baking stone or an inverted baking sheet, place it in the oven to heat up. Once the dough has risen, punch it down to remove excess air. Divide the dough into equal sized balls about the size of a tennis ball. Flatten each ball of dough with your hands to form a flat round shape, around one four to one two inch thick. Lightly oil the baking sheet or baking tray and place the flattened dough rounds on it. Bake the cobs in the preheated oven for about 10, 15 minutes or until they are golden brown and puffed up. Once baked, Remove the cobs from the oven and let them cool on a wire rack. Serve the cobs warm or at room temperature with Moroccan dishes, or use it to scoop up stews and tagins.